to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate that if you like the readings that I give. Um, yeah, so this is a Virgo channel. Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So welcome. Hello, everybody in the chat. All right, as I was shuffling Virgo, um, the card fell out here. The Eight of Swords. So... Let's get into this reading. Just be mindful that some of these messages, you know, it may resonate for you, it may not. Just take it with a grain of salt. Every day it's a different message. Okay, so let's get into this, Virgo. There's somebody here feeling trapped, hands tied behind their back, paralyzed by fear, feeling helpless. Um, in crisis someone feeling backed into a corner and it's all in the mind um, there's someone here feeling very isolated um, maybe even victimized okay trying really hard to walk away from a situation or get out of their head space Okay. Um, there's a lot of restrictions and a difficulty in having movement. Okay. I feel like somebody's having a hard time finishing something, letting something go, and starting over. Okay. All right. We have the Queen of Cups here, so could be a water sign it's interesting because this card does have on it the sign of libra um so there's something i don't know um this represents someone who's very loving warm sensitive okay um but i feel someone feels trapped this person feels very trapped maybe it could be you virgo this is someone who has psychic abilities very intuitive, could be shy, doesn't have to be you, but it's it's an energy of um, someone very maybe pretty or just very beautiful or handsome, um, kind energy, but they are feeling very trapped. This person is feeling just like they know. That it's like If they're able to move out of something, out of a situation, or complete something, there's a lack of a sense of belonging. I feel like someone feels isolated from the world, very much isolated from the world, um, trapped in their own world. Okay, so it's a real difficulty for this person. Let me see here. A lot of mental stress. Okay. Yeah, there's the hermit here. So somebody's here showing up. Like very withdrawn. This person is tremendously withdrawn, seeking solitude, but they're in a position of also reflecting. <clears throat> doing a lot of reflection soul searching as well Virgo I don't know if this is someone that you're connected to <clears throat> but I get like this overall sense of sadness this person has or is currently or will be having they can't so weird it's not weird but it's like they can't attain some type of success or achievement with you so whenever I have the eight of swords I always feel like this is someone who is kind of like if you hold this sideways it's like someone who's on the train tracks a damsel or um, someone in distress okay um, this person doesn't move forward or has difficulty moving forward in life or feeling a part 
of you because of very strong mental disabilities, you know, anxiety, fear, terror. This person, they become paralyzed with fear when, it, when it's time to do something or move in a particular way. Okay. Yeah, here's you. You're showing up here. 100% in the Queen of Pentacles. You're like a little social butterfly and you're completely different from this person. You're very independent. Okay, we have the Empress. Some of you might be mothers or fathers, okay? I feel like you are you're always in an energy of giving birth to new things. It's definitely a nurturing energy as well. Or maybe you're connecting with someone. They could be an earth sign or, as I said, a Libra. That's twice showing up here. I mean, I feel like, Virgo, you're in a position in your life where, you know, you're looking at your success, your prosperity. You're independent. You're a creator. <clears throat> And this is how this person sees you, okay? Um, very sensual, nurturing, um, you know, your femininity is apparent. You're, you're in more of a feminine energy, whether you're masculine or feminine, we all have, we have both of it, but um, more of your femininity shows. I feel like this person wants so much to have some kind of a reunion with you or um, like a come together kind of thing or a marriage, maybe a wedding. This person would like they think about this with you because you come across to them as someone who is full of abundance and and they struggle this person struggles with maybe it's depression or or mental some mental struggles or fear and anxiety what is this person thinking about at this time virgo okay the sun hmm. they think a lot about freedom about getting out of this energy that they've been trapped in and they're thinking about how to do that. There's something here to do where this person is thinking about expressing themselves to you, some truth, to be open with you. So these two cards are very different. The Hermit is terribly isolated and withdrawn, where the Sun is very open and transparent. This person struggles with both. They might sometimes... Um, be open and extroverted and at other times sink back into moments and times of isolation and fear yeah it's kind of feels like when this person's good they're really really good and when they're not they're just come they just isolate themselves from everyone so when we say the world or or they're not online or they're not answering calls or they're not texting you because they go into this poor me kind of thing they have this fear they want to escape and f release themselves from this um, and they dream uh, even like when they think about you know you and they together they think about how good and successful and and wonderful things could be between the two of you how freeing you know and it's something that they want <clears throat> I see how else this person views you or what their energy is towards you here Virgo okay hmm. you bring them clarity there's things that you say to this person um you clear their mind when you communicate with them. They have breakthroughs because of things you say or the type of communication that you have with them. They realize the truth 
about, you know, when you say things, you give them visions, you help them to focus. But when they're left to their own devices, it seems like they, you know, then they get down on themselves a lot. Okay. Oh, wow. Six of Cups. So this person's constantly thinking about you, Virgo. They yearn to come back. They yearn to connect with you. They think about how youthful you are or you, you look on you know like your aesthetic they think you look very young um youthful they they think you're very kind they like your the playful energy that you know occurred between the two of you they're all they're stuck in a lot of past memories with you nostalgia but i feel like this person um, they, there's an innocence they see about you that's different than anyone else you've ever known. Why does this person get so stuck? Like, so why do they isolate and just disappear? Maybe they ghost. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. They feel it's their karma. They feel they deserve nothing wonderful in their life. I feel like this is their fate, that they're destined to always be isolated by other people, alienated. Um, they feel different. They don't feel like they're a part of this world. They don't feel like they're, they, they, I don't know if they alienate themselves or they've been alienated in the past, but they feel like this is their destiny to always be not good enough they don't feel like they could ever be good enough for you they don't believe that anything can change okay this person may settle for friendship with lovers they don't see themselves as being in a romantic relationship because they struggle with self-worth yet at the same time if you were to tell this person okay let's just be friends they would just come towards you immediately like if that's all that you could offer to them they would take it but when it comes to romance or love this person focuses very much on the negative like what if it doesn't work out what if I get rejected? They suffer with maybe a little too much self-absorption, <clears throat> depression, remorse, um, and they, they feel like they miss opportunities all the time. They miss love opportunities because they get so locked into their own thought process and their own, well, oh, I messed this up or I messed that up. And, um, I can't do this and I can't do that. But I feel like when it comes to you, Virgo, nothing compares. I feel like you got very close to this person um, in ways that nobody else has, but I feel like they were afraid to open up even more um, to sh because they don't want you to see how down so about themselves that they are so with the sun and the uh, six of wands this person what they do expose to the world or to others is a winning mindset like it almost feels like a mask like a front like I'm okay I'm triumphant People love me, I'm recognized, people applause me, fame, celebrity, fans, well-wishers, supporters, crowds. Um, they're open to that because it makes them feel better. It gives them a sense of validation, okay? And also maybe from you, when you are able to give that to them. Um, okay, so now we have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, let's see. So I feel like this person has, um, they're 
there's why is I gotta find out I gotta find out more what's going on okay hmm I feel like if an opportunity comes this way from you this you, this person here will, will jump on it or they will tell you um, okay we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and develop some kind of a plan with you You know, I kind of, um, I feel like this person, they deceive themselves. I feel like they lie to themselves. They tell themselves that they can't, um, be with you because they don't feel worthy, but it's actually, they don't believe that anyone or that you could love them as much as you do. It's hard for them to grasp that and they run away when you approach or when you try to give affection and love to this person. They run away. They, it scares them because they don't feel like they deserve it. How else does this person feel about Virgo? Oh my gosh. Knight of Cups. Whew. Like, you are their heart, Virgo. You are their heart. You have swept this person off their feet. They find you so charming and attractive. I mean... You might have invited this person to come into your heart... And they might have wanted that, but they might have denied or rejected that or refused it. And they're regretting this right now. I feel like is this person going through some spiritual changes? Because I do see a lot of reflection here. And I do see this person is soul searching. It's not looking at you. They already love you. They already know how they feel about you. I mean... You come across here as the best thing that they have ever, the best person that's ever been in their life. But they're taking a look at themselves. Why is it so, why do they wear this mask? Why is it so important for them to only expose, to not share their downtime and to only share their uptime? This so having a positive mindset is good but faking a positive mindset is unhealthy because it's denying how we truly feel deep within um, rather than just acknowledging our emotions because we're not like we strive to be positive you know um, every day to find the good in things but you know Sometimes it's okay to be sad. Sometimes it's okay to say, you know, I feel sad today and I'm going to embrace my sadness and I'm going to let this pass and I'm going to feel it, but I'm going to let it pass. So, yeah, I feel like <clears throat> this person is definitely going to be transitioning. They're healing 100%. Um, what's called, so it feels like because they feel lost and alone without you, any even small little bit of communication, um, you might be communicating with this person right now, maybe in the 5D. And if you are, it doesn't feel like it's enough, but they can hear you. They can feel your energy. They know that you love them. This person, what's what's moving them forward is that they feel like you have had this ability to, just by your 
very presence to be able to lead this person when they were broken and to give reassurance and tell them that things are going to be okay um even if you have left each other out in the cold this person heavily depends on you in a sense of like their life feels like nothing without you so with the six of swords this is kind of like the calm after a storm overcoming uh, emotional and mental hardship okay um healing making some progress i feel like this person is getting out of tumultuous water which is these emotions these feelings and coming out at they, maybe they were in some type of depression or a sense of feeling lost this person is so they are just very much they love you virgo they love you 100 percent like it's deep it's not just um page of cups love this is like this person admires you so much and when they think of you like you're their heart when they are to follow their heart it leads to you even if there is no communication at this time with this person this you're all that they think about and their actions that they take they consult with you in the 5d like it's like if they're going to do something they'll say to themselves well what would virgo think or what would virgo do it's almost as if you're an undercurrent that runs through them and every step they take and every move they make <laughs> i'll be watching you they're watching you it has to do with how you would feel about it if you knew about it what you would think about it if you knew about it what you would say what you wouldn't say they want you to see them they it's almost like performance they don't i don't know what this really means it feels like they want you to envision them the way they're envisioning you is this a separation what is this well i do feel like you guys are in separation i mean this is such a far cry but this is than yesterday's reading but this is a much more deeper intuitive message about this person okay um you're somewhere out there in the world virgo and they're not a part of it and they are very distraught about this and it's mostly because of their own doing because they don't feel worthy to be in the world that you're in okay yeah this person wants to be everything for you they long for this to be this person that you can depend on that you know will protect you I do see healing I do I do see in this time that you guys um, are not really in alignment right now I do see like even though this person feels restricted or burned out oh there's a struggle with a father figure i just heard a father figure um puts a lot of pressure on them heavy burden or or they feel very pressured or burdened as a father if they are a father they're doing everything by themselves right now um, and it's a real struggle for them and they feel like they can't do something or whatever they want to do or just go through their daily life without your pulse 
beating in their heart. They, they're, they're out here alone, living life, and and it's you make everything easier for this person. That's how they feel right now. This is how. This is what they're coming to. This is part of this reflection. How important the role as a lover that you played in this person's life. They feel that void, that emptiness, that loneliness. They're trying to keep themselves from becoming too restrictive, too antisocial, too withdrawn because they tend like there's a tendency to go in that direction but then it's too lonely for this person they're trying to keep themselves from getting becoming paranoid in some ways they don't want to think that you're with someone else even if you are or if you're not it's too much they don't look they don't look for signs that you are gone they try to keep you in their head and their heart that you the you two will return and they want to come back to you at this like in a completely different way in a brand new loving beginning they want to you're like a blessing to them there's nobody else Virgo, I mean, this person meets other people, they communicate, they talk to other people, they have friends. And I think that when this person met you, that might be how it started. But it, it changed somewhere along the lines. This person has so much love for you, like an outpouring of love for you. And I feel like this person is making these switches, these transitions, these changes, because they want the blessing of you in their life. What happened in the past? Okay. Queen of Swords. Hmm. There might have been some criticism some honest truthful words some candid communication wow about their self-limiting behavior about their lack of direction about their inability to let go about their constant like being stuck and not being able to move forward. If you said that to this person, Virgo, I feel like that is what they're looking at right now. Why they have confined themselves or why they confine themselves, why they put these limits on themselves, why are they are always so uncertain, or um, why do they always need to release or run away? Because every time they do that, they lose people. What is the insecurity? What is the mental struggle? What is the victimization? Where is that coming from? A lot of self-reflection going on with this person. And I think there might have been a conversation in the past about this um, that has caused this person to really take a look at this. Why deny your love and some of you may have felt to yourselves like okay there's the moon you might have had a misconception about yourself or this might have made you feel very insecure thinking maybe you weren't valuable enough or you weren't good enough but that wasn't the case it's how they felt about themselves which is why they couldn't cross over had nothing to do with you because all I see here is how how much this person just loves you so much like how they have such a deep feeling a deep emotion for you this is their journey 
Virgo, not yours. This is something that they have to look at themselves and ask themselves, am I truly happy all by myself, isolated all the time? Am I doing that because I really like being alone or is it because I don't trust or I have a hard time trusting? I'm, you know, is it because of my anxiety? Do I have attachment anxiety? Or do I run away when things, when I feel nervous? Or when I feel like if I get too close to Virgo, I'm going, every, Virgo's going to see everything about me and then decide that I'm not worthy. Or Virgo's going to see my flaws and think that they're not going to want me and they're going to want somebody else who's better. Okay. So I feel, Virgo, that, you know, you've got somebody here who's on a dark night journey here. Um, if you're, there you go. Death. That's always my dark night of the soul card always okay this spiritual transformation is happening this is a letting go making change and releasing all of this dark energy this is what is happening with this person at this time and you may not even be aware of it it might be hidden like the moon here it's hidden you might be thinking that this person is left you and they're starting all over again um, with somebody else. I don't feel like that's happening here. And if you know that that is what's happening, then this just might not be for you, this reading here. This is for somebody else. Um, for those of you who either don't know or know it's not happening, I feel like there's a subconscious energy that is happening with this person where that subconsciousness is opening up these hidden fears. Okay. Um, and it's, there's an unveiling that's happening here. These, these secrets are beginning to come to light just a little bit, not a lot. But this person is questioning themselves. I, they just gave me the numbers 608. 608. Okay, I don't know what that means. 608. And then, okay, weird. They just gave me a song by Queen. It's called Best Friend. I don't know if this person is listening to this song right now. Maybe they've never heard it. I don't know. Maybe you heard it or you're listening to it. But Spirit is saying, this is a real, real thing. There is a, there is, it's not just best friend, but it's like the lyrics to that song. And I can't even remember how it goes, but it's, you have to listen to it because that's how this person feels about you. Okay, they're, they're definitely heartbroken. Their heart is so, if you're in sa separation, this person is tremendously sad without you, um, deep in their heart, okay? They might be causing confusion and making it seem like everything is fine, but that's not the case at all. This person feels extremely lonely. Um, and completely removed even from themselves but that's you know there's some healing that's happening here which is beautiful okay there's some definite upheaval there's grief and sorrow but Virgo oh, wow knight of swords there's big changes coming with this person okay I feel like they're gonna stop thinking or overthinking so much and they're just gonna seize the day, just jump in, just come out of nowhere, like a rebel, <laughs> a 
like a rebel. Just come out of nowhere. Daring move. Um, this is like the opposite of the Eight of Swords. You know, the Eight of Swords has like self-imposed prisoner. The Knight of Swords is like, give me that sword. We're moving out of here. We're getting out of this. So I just heard Aquarius. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You know, Virgo, I just heard it's strange. That this Everything about you, this person longs to be. You inspire them. Um, the things they see about you is that you're very grounded and successful. Um, at least as far as the male, the masculine, very wealthy or a business person, you're always bettering yourself. You're not generally a risk taker. Um, you're a calculated risk taker. Um, and you sit in a position of high status, masculine or feminine. Um, you provide security and I feel like this is something that this person is not used to having from a lover in their life. I just heard they said, tell, tell them this. If you want a safe relationship, well, how do you do that? You become a safe person. I feel like you're a safe person. You're showing up here that way. They see you that way. You're safe in the sense of like, they can talk to you. They can tell you things. Um, for the most part, I feel like they feel that way about you. They don't feel that way about themselves. <laughs> you provide more security then they have been able to provide you, okay? And I feel like that's why this person is very dependent on you. Um, could be financial dependence. Um, it could be just, you know, when they're struggling emotionally, they can hear your voice and know that you give good direction or you... You say things to them. Yeah, look. Nine of Pentacles. You inspire this person to... To not give up. You inspire them. It must be conversations you had in the past. Or how you are with them now in conversations that you have now you give hope you give balance and structure to this person stability okay oh my glasses yeah in times of chaos and destruction um you know i don't know virgo i feel like this person they hear you they hear what you say or they, they replay things that were said to them by you when they're in confusion or upheaval or they've had change. They think to themselves, well, what would Virgo do? How would Virgo handle this? Um, when their life is in chaos or when they feel like things are falling apart they think well what would Virgo do well Virgo would just stand independent and, and stay in a success mindset Virgo doesn't give up and Virgo brings hope and inspiration during times of stress and anxiety and this is what you give to them this is the gift this is what they see you bring love you bring opportunities like there's it's crazy Virgo I, it just makes me feel like the only reason that this person struggles to move forward with you is because of them not because of you and it's almost sad you know this person has suffered so much anxiety and grief. 
they struggle just to cope or face people in life and you in the past of course if this is the past well i guess it would be they have a lot of mental anguish and a lot of remorse they have guilt If they came at you in just a physical way, a physical relationship, and, made, and, and you were left with the impression that they were only wanting physical intimacy and not to get to know you, they might have done that in the beginning. They regret that so much now because they fell in love. They fell in love with you. Look at this. Cupid's arrows. This person did not expect to fall in love with you. And now there's no one else they can even imagine themselves having any kind of emotion towards. So Virgo, it, you know, this is what's going on with this person. And are they going through these healing changes yes they're gaining that inner strength courage confidence taming the beast within and the beast is their negative thinking and their stress and fears um, overcoming self-doubt because that's what all of this is their self-doubt their self-doubt learning to control themselves their negative sides push that away and get themselves into a position of believing in themselves that you know <clears throat> yes i can do this yes i can be with Vir virgo yes i can offer virgo everything that virgo needs yes i can do this courage this person lacked courage in a, con a love connection with you they may have pretended or, you know, feigned that they were successful at it um, or tried to show you that they knew exactly what, but it was a front, a mask, putting on a front and a mask. They didn't want you to know that they were struggling with being balanced, very balanced, you know. They had, this person has a lot of ups and downs, emotional ups and downs could be hormonal um, it could just be like mood destabilization um, they might be going on mood stabilizers or getting some help or adjusting some medication or just adjusting their because when we look at um, the water there with the ships on the water that's very roller coastery emotions and I feel like this person you know, ups and downs, mood problems, very moody, one minute, very extroverted, like I said, and happy and joyous. And the next minute, they're gone into this dark place. That's that dark place. So they've always been quite conflicted. So I see them here trying to find balance. And they've, this dark place is what, you know, latches its claws into them and drags them down under the water where it's suffocating the deepest darkest water this might be a little bit of the story of Hades and Persephone okay the Hierophant I don't think this person is ever going to let you go, Virgo. I think they don't want you to let them go. I think they want you to somehow intuitively understand and be patient. <coughs> to intuitively understand that this person is going through a, you know, a, a, a heavy transformation. I think you guys are still connected in the 5D.
All right, and I just want to tell you all that this message, I know some of you have past people that you're not interested in. This is not for you. This is for those who are like, I mean, I'm tapping into some heavy duty energy here. Um, some very deep intuitive stuff. And if you are like, no, nope, that's not for me, because you know how the readings go sometimes, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, there you go. The High Priestess and the Hierophant. <laughs> Neither one of you letting go of each other here. Okay, that inner knowing. This is the difference between religion and spirituality. <laughs> I really actually have never actually seen that together but now that I'm looking at it yeah because the hierophant is like you know uh, religion conformity conventional commitment um, beliefs traditional values institutions and the high priestess is more along the lines of like spiritual insight this is emotional stability so I really feel that you guys um, you're holding on to each other still um, there's a thread that you is tied to both of you that you could you can't cut it there's no scissors for this thread this is life this is lifetime is this a twin flame I feel like it might be yeah I mean the lovers hasn't shown up two of cups did not show up but the overall energy makes me feel like a twin um, does that mean that you need to sit by the phone and wait for this person and stop everything that you're doing no you have to let people or this person go through their dark night journey and that's all that you can do that's the only power that you have Virgo is to allow this person is to control of yourself which means to let them go through this it's a let go kind of thing and for you Virgo just keep building okay just keep building yourself your life stay dedicated to your goals stay concentrated on what you're doing for yourself whether that's in business, trade, could be self-employment, um, it could be just whatever is the daily grind, whatever is consistent, keep that going because that keeps you focused every day, adding to it every day. Stay consistent and patient. Yep, that opportunity is going to come it is the opportunity for both of you to reinvest in this connection this loving relationship in a healthier way right now it's it seems like no at this time but I do feel like this person okay here's the king of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius I do feel like this person is getting themselves they're getting motivated and I think if you understand what I said before I mean there this person has they're seeing these visions of what it could be like with you and and manifesting that you know the king of wands they're showing up in this energy is very bold and energetic takes action comes with confidence fearlessness freeing up the thinking and I do feel like you guys are look yeah you are a match the king and the queen of wands there is a match you guys vibe off of each other in positive ways you give each other these positive like vision and vibrancy you give each other these positive waves here you keep each other going and it's almost as if like you're both plugged into the same outlet but someone turned the power off and it's like you haven't left the outlet either one of you but there's no energy happening right now just little bits and pieces as soon as that energy and that sun gets turned on I feel like then you guys become electrified you're so it's like a low current right now but that current 
is constant between the two of you. Yeah, you two are going to be happily ever after someday in your life. And I'm not going to give you a time frame for this. Um, there's a happily ever after energy. Virgo, I feel like surrender you're both going to surrender this but mostly this person this might be something that you have always known intuitively that this was your person and you've always wanted this but i feel like this person was just fearful of it that you would be too harsh on them or um or they were fearful they would sabotage the relationship if it ever got to that point um but i see surrender here I feel like this person is going to surrender to what is meant to be. This divine timing will be coming. I mean, you two connected and this was just something that was out of this world, this connection and unlike anything either one of you expected to have or experience and why you're both still in each other's energy is because it's something that was meant for you but right now you both have lessons there's a lot of wounds ongoing battle within self you have yours this person has theirs but this is close to success nearly there gathering strength and courage to keep persevering this is not over this this connection this relationship this person yeah there will be some communication i will tell you that this person's gonna kind of get back up onto their uh pot in a positive state at some point going forward um and there will be like phone call or um, maybe a text or maybe even a letter for some of you or a card um, you're definitely going to get good news from this person I feel like they're going to communicate that they feel very happy and they want to call a truce I feel like they're going to um, tell you that they've, they're facing their fears but they may not say exactly their fears. For some of you, they might. Um, they may tell you that there was somebody else that had they were still attached to, that they were torn, um, and their loyalty. There may be an apology for divided loyalty, but that there, it was a difficult decision, and they did sit on the fence, and they did keep you in a stalemate. Um, but they're facing the truth is that you're the one whom they love. Yeah, they're coming out in the open here with this, with judgment. This person's coming right out and they've been looking at self. They're having an awakening. They're making a decision. You are their purpose and their life calling. They hope that you'll forgive them. This person is really hoping that you will forgive them and there will be an opportunity to start over to again uh, to, to again <laughs> together in your lives a choice soulmates love twin souls kindred spirits is what both of you are and decision here being made coming back into harmony relearning to trust one another I mean, I think this is such a beautiful reading. It's magic. This is your magic man or your magic woman, Virgo. This person. These are two Geminis. So for some of you, they could be Gemini. Um, or have Gemini in their chart somewhere. This person, I feel, and you, both of you, will be able to manifest your dreams and your wishes together. Two of you... 
I think that before both of you met, before you even discovered each other or knew about each other, you were okay, whatever, with your life, and this person was okay, whatever, with their life. And then when you came together, there was some type of magic that happened. And it, for some, it happened right away. For others, it didn't happen right away. But, Or for one, it happened before the other. Somebody's catching up here. Two, acknowledging what this is, this connection, this partnership, this, this these two perfect human beings who are completely imperfect, but completely made for each other, <clears throat> built, put on this planet specifically for one another. Two people who have went their entire lives looking for their other half, or just always feeling that loss, that void, and then coming together and just having a hard time believing they've actually met themselves here on this earth. And this is definitely a twin flame struggle for sure. Yeah, I mean, Virgo <clears throat> makes me wanna cry makes me want to cry because I really feel like this is a love story this is like Romeo and Juliet this is a love story like none other this person loves you so much Virgo and their struggle and you love them so much and your struggle but just this <clears throat> connecting with each other and seeing each other in one another it's like, it's almost like both of you are cut from the same cloth. It seems that way. Even if you're not, you could be completely different. You could have grown up in completely different environments. You could be from different parts of the world. You could have different languages. You could be different races. Like there could be so many obstacles and so many differences between you. Yet there's a resemblance and a familiarity between the two of you that is a confirmation that this is your twin, this is your person. Twins, they either look alike or they're cut from the same cloth and they don't look the same, but there's a recognition. One cannot live without the other, you know? And it's painful to be in separation, but it causes immense growth when separated. It's soul changing. Have faith, Virgo.